guys okay so briefly before we get into the video I just wanted to show you guys my hermit crab tank again because you guys seemed to really like the last video the rest of them are all buried underneath their substrate Hey guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today's video is a long-awaited one that I wanted to make for you guys it is an entire hermit crab diet video now just a disclaimer this is just what I feed my hermit crabs or have fed my hermit crabs over the six years that I've had them I do not feed them all of these items every single day especially the vegetables that they're usually a treat based type thing so I'm going to be going over each of these items that you see in front of you and we're going to talk about each of them I'm going to tell you guys what my hermit crabs prefer and which ones they don't prefer as well as talk about which ones that I feed in the most often and the least often and so on and so forth I'm going to go on and talk about the fruits and vegetables first since I don't feed that to them every single day it is something that I only feed them sparingly because I do treat it as somewhat of a treat. But nonetheless, it is something that I definitely want to cover because it is really good for them to get fruits and vegetables every once in a while. So the first vegetable that I have fed my hermit crabs in the past is romaine lettuce. Now they kind of pick at it. They never finish a piece. This is obviously bigger than I would even give them because they would just kind of nibble at it. But I just wanted to include it as an option that you can feed your hermit crabs if you want. I wouldn't suggest anything like iceberg just because there is zero nutritional value and at least with a darker green leaf you have a little bit more fiber and things like that in it. Um, this isn't something that I would feed them even every day. Again it is mostly water so it's not going to hurt them and it will kind of be fun for them to pick at and forage at but it's just a simple vegetable that you can choose to feed them or not feed them but it won't hurt them. The next is a piece of carrot. Now obviously this is a huge slice of carrot. They would never finish this no matter how long I left it in the tank, but for the sake of the video I wanted to include it. Now obviously I would just cut a sliver off of this and this is a raw organic slice of carrot. So make sure that if you're feeding your hermit crabs any type of fruits or vegetables that it is organic. If you can get organic that's always the way to go as well as make sure that it is washed. And usually they would pick at it throughout the night. I do leave their food in there for 24 hours before removing it, and that even includes the fruits and vegetables. But just make sure that whatever they do not consume in one day is removed to prevent mold. You really don't want your hermit crabs eating any rotten fruits or vegetables because that could make them sick and possibly lead to an illness or death. The next piece of food is a piece of cucumber. I have only fed this to my hermit crabs a few times, but I know that it is okay for them to eat, so I did want to include it because I had it in my fridge, and I've only given it to them a few times. Again, this is a very large piece. You could put this whole piece in there. I don't think they would ever come close to finishing it. Probably just pick at it with their little feelers, but I just wanted to include it as something that is good for them, they can have, and will not hurt them. Obviously, this is a plain piece of cucumber. It's not a pickled cucumber, anything like that. You don't ever want to give them anything acidic, especially when it comes to fruits. You really want to avoid fruits as much as possible unless it's something with a very low acidity in it. As you can see, I did not include any fruits in my list because I prefer to not give my hermit crabs fruit. Um, I have given them strawberry in the past just like once or twice, but it always made me nervous. And I know that there are some fruits that will not hurt them at all, but I choose to just stick with really, really simple, clean vegetables for my hermit crabs. So the next vegetable that we're gonna talk about is red bell pepper. My hermit crabs really love red bell pepper. I think that they find it really sweet. This is obviously a sliver of organic. Um, I would always suggest again to get organic and make sure you wash it really, really good. Don't put the seeds in there and things like that. I wouldn't suggest any other type of peppers other than bell pepper because you never want to give them things that are spicy, um, but they really love the sweetness of this. And if I put a little piece like say this big in there of red bell pepper, 
they would probably have most of it eaten in one night. They really love, really, really love bell pepper. The next vegetable we're gonna talk about is broccoli. Now, I have given this to my hermit crabs too from time to time. Again, I just wanna mention this is not every single day. I do not give them all of these things daily. I usually give these as a treat and the majority of these are pretty much weekly and then I'll just swap them up. And they generally never finish much of it and they usually only eat at the green fibrous part of it, but again, it is a good treat to give and it is safe. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the store-bought processed hermit crab foods that you see here. I'm gonna show you each of these items individually and the package that they come in just so you know what brands they are. Now, I get a lot of controversy over hermit crab foods and I see a lot of people arguing over what foods are better than others. Honestly, I think any store-bought hermit crab food is for the most part gonna be okay but I do not believe that they're meant to be fed by themselves. For instance, I would never feed my hermit crabs just the shrimp and meal. I would never feed them just pellets or just a carrot. You know, you wanna make sure that they have variety and a good variety of a minimum of three different things in their bowl every single day. So the first one that I wanna talk about, this is a minced mashed up pellet food by All Things Living. This is the All Things pellet food. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. This is just a general nutrition food that I got from, I believe it was Pet Smart maybe Petco. I only shop at those two stores generally for my hermit crab food. Obviously is a good source of protein and things like that as it says on here. But again, it is not intended to be fed by itself. I personally, even though I think that it's good for them, I would always, always substitute it with some sort of vegetable or dessert or something like that. The ingredients in these pellets have things like fish meal, ground corn, squid meal, dried whole egg, krill, soybean, shrimp, and lots of other things. So it is definitely a great source of protein. However, like I said, just make sure you give them plenty of variety and don't feed them something like this by itself. The next pelleted food that I wanna talk about is this one right here. This is a Zoomed pellet that I got from, I believe, PetSmart. So this is the hermit crab food that is made by Zoomed. You can usually get it at PetSmart and things like that. I've also seen this sold at places like Walmart and Kroger. It has really, really big pellets. Obviously, it's not the best brand there is out there, but it will do the job as long as, again, I can't stress enough, just don't give them this by itself. Make sure they have a variety. The next food that we're gonna talk about is this shrimp meal here. This is a variety diet by All Things Living. My hermit crabs really enjoy this one. In the ingredients in this food, there is dried river shrimp, which they really, really like. There's corn, calcium, soybean meal, chicken meal, and other types of meats and proteins. I know that they really enjoy this one, and this is a good variety diet to add to their pellet. Hermit crabs love to eat shrimp, and there's big chunks of shrimp in this, and so I really find that they like that. Now again, this is one that some people hate because it does have different types of meal in them. However, I have never had a problem feeding this to my hermit crabs, and I find that they like it just fine, as long as I don't give them too much of it, and I make sure to give them other things as well. All right, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is the dried vegetables up here in the corner. This is probably one of my most favorite things to give hermit crabs. I find that my hermit crabs really, really love this dried veggie mix. It is meant for all different types of reptiles, but I find that it keeps for a really long time. And there are a ton of vegetables, as you can see, there is a huge variety of different dried veggies and things inside of this that they really, really love. So it says that this is a quick and easy, dried, convenient food snack slash treat. And it says it is a healthy alternative to frozen treats, which I do agree with. I think that this is a really good option if you don't like giving them a lot of frozen fruits and things. These dried veggies will do just fine. So the ingredients in this is dried carrot, dried bok choy, dried zucchini, peas, and green beans. It's very simple, and honestly, it's a really good bag to get. There's nothing in it that is unsafe for your hermit crabs. I find that mine really love it, and I even mist mine down so that it's not completely hard and crunchy. Obviously, when doing that, you have to toss this out every single day as to prevent any mold, like I mentioned with the fresh fruits and vegetables. So I make sure to give them this one every single day along with their pellets and things. Okay guys, so the last but not least is their dessert. Now as you can see, it's very, very tiny scoop over here. And this is just a all around like coconut type sweet dessert. It's very, very fruity smelling. It is made into a dried powder. Unfortunately, I do not have the container it was in because the box ripped. And so I had to put it into a plastic container um, without the label. 
I do not know the brand name of it. I believe it is All Things Living as well, and it's just a coconut type treat. They really love it. Um, I do not even put this much. I literally just put the tiniest pinch in their bowl, and it is always gone by morning. I, they only get it about once a week because I know that it is a sweeter thing, and I don't want them to have too much sweet. So now I want to briefly talk about a couple of empty containers that I have fed my hermit crabs in the past and I've kept just because if it's something that they enjoyed or I've gotten previously and they did really well with or they liked eating, then I usually keep the containers, so I'm gonna show you that now. This food is by the brand FMR, and as you can see, it is a hermit crab treat. My hermit crabs absolutely love this food. They cannot get enough of it. As you can see, it is completely empty. They've devoured it. I got this at a small pet store about an hour and a half away from my house, and I have not seen it since in any pet store. I could probably look online and find some. This brand, FMR, was really good, and they also made a food, which I also bought for my crabs, and they absolutely loved it. I highly recommend this brand. Um, I haven't heard anything bad or ever read anything bad, so if you can get your hands on this, I definitely would. It's probably even better than the other foods that you would find at like PetSmart. So in here, they have papaya, coconut, pineapple, Apple, sea salt, just a little bit, banana chips, apples, mangoes, rolled oats, and wheat germ. When you get this, it smells so sweet and so strong. Um, just like their other treat, it's really good and they absolutely love it. But I've been feeding them the All Things Living one just because I can't find this one, but I really wish I could get my hands back on this. So the last one that I want to talk about is a hermit crab fruit salad by Zoomed. My hermit crabs like to pick through this, but they do not like it nearly as much as they like the FMR and the All Things Living treat that I would give them. But this one is one that if you just can't find anything else, it's a good buy. Um, I got it. They would pick through it. They usually didn't like the bigger chunks. I think there were pieces of cranberry in this. They really didn't like the cranberry. But it is a good, cheaper fruit salad, hermit crab treat slash food if you wanted to give it to them. Just remember, do not feed your hermit crabs only this. Always mix it with something else. So last but not least regarding hermit crab diet is their water. This is a salt water solution by All Things Living that I got from PetSmart. This is how I provide them with all of their salt water. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about hermit crab salt water. You can buy the powders that you can mix on your own. However, I just don't like to take the chance of over mixing it or under mixing it. And this is just so much more easier, convenient, and I know that it's pre-measured, so there's no chance of it being messed up. Hermit crabs have to be provided fresh water and salt water at all times. It's just a staple part of their diet. They have to have it whether to soak in or drink. So this is how I buy my salt water. Um, I highly recommend getting the bottled as a opposed to the powders. I just find that it's just a better option all the way around. And of course, last but not least is fresh water. Um, obviously, I don't have like a bowl of water to show you, but it is very important to always keep clean, fresh water in your hermit crab tank at all times. Make sure it's shallow so that they don't drown in it, as well as the salt water. You wanna keep it in a very shallow dish. Maybe put a rock or some stones or something in there so that they don't drown, but, and they can get in and out very easily. But I can't stress enough how important it is to have both fresh and salt water in their tanks at all time, as well as the varied variety diet. It is very important. You wanna make sure that your hermit crabs stay healthy and have enough variety in case they go through a picky spell where they're only eating one of the three things you're offering. You just wanna make sure that they're always getting the nutrients that they need. This is just what I feed my hermit crabs from day to day or weekly. Again, like I mentioned, I can't stress that enough because I know I will see comments about it. They do not get all of these every single day. This is not the exact portions that they get. I do swap up all five of these pretty much weekly. I just mix and match and depending on what I think that they're wanting from day to day. In the description box below, I'm gonna be listing a couple of websites that are great resources for you to look at. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I didn't answer here, I'm going to be listing a couple of lists of good and bad foods for hermit crabs as well since there was a lot that I could not cover in this video. Just remember when it comes to fruits and vegetables, nothing spicy, nothing acidic, no salts and peppers and things like that. Keep it very bland, keep it very simple and you should be safe. As well as with the packaged foods, you really can't go wrong. Obviously there are some lower quality brands. A lot of people agree that the Zoomed is not the best brand ever. That's why I don't feed it to my hermit crab solely. I mix it along with other things. I do think that All Things Living is a really good brand, so I do have a lot of All Things Living food for them. As well as the FMR, that's also a great brand to go with if you want to try something different. Be sure to check the description below for all of the details that I may have missed, left out, or for the list of good and bad food. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.